A good evening to you from Champion Christian College today on YouTube. It's Tigers basketball as the champion men open up this 2021-22 season against Ecclesia, who come in at 0-1. Let's meet the starting lineups. I'm Chris Shema. Glad to be with you for year two. Here is the voice of the Tigers. Like I said, let's meet the starters first for Joseph Flegler and Ecclesia. It's number two, Zachary McGee. Number four, Joey Gobert. Number 24 is Marin Gabrasis. Number 30, Jaquan Dotson. And number 31 is Brian Gonzalez. For your Tigers and Mo Capace in his second season, it's number zero, Marcus Blakely. Number 11, Keyshawn Scott. Number 12, Zoe Capace. Number 13, A.J. Williams, and number 14 is Braylon Hawkins. These two teams meeting for the fourth time in as many seasons. Last year, champion won a nail-biter 67-65 in 2020. The Tigers won 94-79. Champion 3-0 against the Royals since 2018-2019. And Ecclesia coming off a heartbreaker against Central Christian, a good program. They lost that one 75-73. They're an NAIA program. Uh, the Royals were outshot, actually outshot by Central, 39 to 38 percent, and uh, minus nine in points off turnovers. The Royals bench was plus four, 14, and they had 10 lead changes and 14 ties. As you see, the uh, first bucket of the game goes to Ecclesia. So two late free throws in that game sealed the fate for the Royals, but this is a good program, so buckle up. Champion's going to have to be on their toes as they turn it over for the second straight time. Go bear attacks. Hangs no. It's tipped back up and eventually goes in, though, for Ecclesia, who now lead it 5 nothing here in the early going. A.J. Williams into the forecourt. Williams back for his junior season. 20.3 points per ball game last year. Gets the assist as Blakely, who shot 43% from downtown, connects for three and quickly into the forecourt. Here's Gobert from the right wing. Can't get it to go. Rebound controlled by Williams. Champion will put the uh, tempo a little more this year. Zoe Capace said they want to get out and run. Ball batted out to Blakely. Off the uh, layup miss, so extra position here. Hawkins thought about the three. Swung over to Blakely. Deep look. Can't get it to go for three. Gobert's got a rebound. Joey Gobert has been active here in the early going, looking to pick up an assist. Instead, he picks up a turnover as Dotson says, my bad, it's off me, out of bounds. So Tigers will get it back. A.J. Williams, I mentioned, 20.3 points per ball game, 4.5 rebounds, and 2.7 assists. Blakely navigates against the zone back to Williams. Williams thought about it. Blakely, the zone collapses around him. Shot clock is down to 9 for champion. Blakely with the bounce pass to Hawkins. Shot clock at 5. Hawkins forced it up, couldn't get it to go. And here comes Ecclesia out on the run. This is Dotson. Up top, Gabrasis. Gabrasis had 29 points in the loss as he throws it out of bounds against Central Christian. Those of you who weren't with us last year, Chris Sheeman here with you. I'm actually at my home studio in South Carolina calling the game. It's a remote broadcasting service I started offering a few years ago. And I'll be honest with you, Royals fans, uh, when you have dark jerseys with dark numbers, I'm probably going to make some mistakes today. Here's Zoka Pacey for three, missing off the back rim. So just one field goal here at the start for champion. We're about three minutes in. McGee for three off the back iron, and the rebound controlled by the Tigers. So here comes champion into the forecourt over on that far sky. It's a scoop pass by Williams to Blakely, who hit the three. Moments ago, comes up short there. Now Gobert into the forecourt for the Royals. Here's Gabrasis. Got to keep your eyes on him if you're champion. One of the better scorers on the team, Gabrasis. Gets it back. It was poked by Williams. 15 on the shot clock, 16.43 to go. Just underway here from the champion classic. It's Gobert for three. Yes! So Gobert was scoreless yesterday. 
or not yesterday, on Tuesday when they played. Connecting on that field goal, though, and now we have another. Looks like it's going to be a timeout here for Mocha Pacey. So 16-27 left to go, 8-3 to three in favor of Ecclesia. We'll be back after this. That's a look at the upcoming broadcast schedule. So we're with you today and tomorrow. And then we don't talk for a while as Champion goes on the road. They'll place uh, CU Harrodsburg tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Time. Then nine road games for Champion. Capace's pass was tipped. Blakely comes up with it, though, now in the corner. Capace dribbles it back out. Blakely, shot clock is down to six. They're having trouble against the zone. Williams, step back three off the side rim. Rebound controlled by Ecclesia. That was McGee, I believe, who had five rebounds in the first game for Ecclesia. Ball swung to Dotson. Dotson attacks, and nobody comes to help. So it's a good start for the Royals. They lead by seven here in the early going. Knew this might be a tough one for Champion. They've got a couple of tough ones here at home. Air ball that time by Braylon Hawkins, who averaged 17 a game and 53% shooter last year. Attacking is the Royals. Offensive rebound comes back out to Gobert. In and out on the three. Nice box out by Hawkins that time for the Tigers as he gets the rebound. Hanging and scoring. That's A.J. Williams. A.J., 42% from the field last year. Now a poke away and a steal by Blakely. Into the four-court Tigers. As I mentioned, they're going to play faster. Williams for three, missed it short. Rebound controlled by Gobert for Ecclesia. Right wing jumper is good. That was Dotson, I believe, from behind the arc. Apologies again if I'm wrong on that one. Near side, Blakely. Cross court to Williams. Scott. Keyshawn Scott is fouled. First foul of the game. Keyshawn, sophomore, averaged 4.6 per ball game last year. Some uh, newcomers, eight guys back for champion Christian, so they have a lot of chemistry. Malik Laurent is one of the newcomers. Shout out to the folks in Dominica. Not the Dominican Islands. It's Dominica, a tiny island in the Caribbean. So Malik Lorentz from Dominica into the game for the first time. Also checking in is A.J. Jenkins, the uh, freshman from Bryant, Arkansas. So eight guys back, but a lot of newcomers. A few we won't see. Trey Mallard, Kyle Malone, uh, one coming from Arlington, the other from Randall, respectively. They will be out for a while, hopefully by the Dallas Christian game once you get into region play. And then Brian Sluga, the sophomore from Texas, inactive due to an injury. Not sure when he'll come back. A.J. Williams directing the new guys as Jenkins comes over to the near side. Blakely on the far side catches it. In the corner, Scott pass off the mark, looking in for Laurent, Malik Laurent. And that pass off the mark. So ball goes back to Ecclesia. Joseph Flegler subbing as well. We'll tell you about the sub for Ecclesia as soon as we can see who it is. Attacking is uh, Jones. That's Shamar Jones into the game. Coming up short, and another turnover. Boy, it's been sloppy in the early going for the Tigers. 
Domenica, by the way, is home to about uh, 74,000 people, so a tiny island, but they've got some people. Attacking is Gabrasis. And Ecclesia has opened up a 10-point lead about seven minutes into this ball game. Williams scoops it over to Blakely, hit a three early on. Swings it out, Jenkins. Jenkins, defense collapses around him. Williams, the fake, steps left, buries the triple. That's A.J. Williams. He's got five. Correction, six of the eight. 12.57 left to go. Another three-pointer for Ecclesia as they come right back off a of make and score. That's a dagger. Williams. Scoops it to Blakely, guarded by David Lynch into the game. Laurent looking to set a screen. Williams poked away, gets it back. Shot clock at seven. Laurent, yes, no, offensive foul. And David Lynch took a man's charge right there. So Laurent called for the offensive foul. And Lynch goes to the bench. McGee will come back in. Let's go back to happier times here and take another look. Patient offense there for AJ as he connects on the three. But then Ecclesia came right back, buried one of their own. This is Gonzalez into the game. Brian Gonzalez, the uh, he actually started the game. Three ball off the mark. Now here comes Champion. Glover into the game. Taz Glover, Jr. from Chicago, averaged just over two a game for champion last year. Due to some of the injuries, you're going to see some of the uh, deeper bench guys for champion here this weekend and then at the start of the season as they go on that long road trip. Hawkins on the wing. Back over to Williams from downtown. Yes, again, he's three for three. Cutting the deficit down to seven. Look out now. Here's Green into the game for Ecclesia. Gonzalez. Hanging was Jones coming up short. Williams into the forecourt. Williams feeling hot. Posting up is Hawkins. Hawkins... Stepped out of bounds. Another turnover for Champion that time. Ball goes back to the Royals. More shuffling for Joseph Flegler, keeping me on my toes. Green is out. And Gobert checks back in. McGee to inbound it. 11.25 to go here in relatively quick moving first half. Good action as Dotson on the reverse got it to go. Ecclesia back up by nine. Williams into the forecourt. Here's Glover. Turnaround jumper. Tried to bank it, but the bank's closed on a Friday night. Royals with the board. Good job by Champion getting back. Gobert. Up top, it's Dotson again. Attacks. Offensive foul is going to be called. 10.56 left to go here in this opening half. Number 11 is Matthew Hammer for Ecclesia. Scoreless on one field goal attempt in the loss against Central Christian, the NAIA program, back on Tuesday. A.J. Williams across the timeline into the forecourt for the Tigers. A.J.'s got 9 of the 11. Correction, 8 of the 11. Here's Glover. Oh, what a pass. That was beautiful. Hawkins to Laurent for two. That's how you play. We'll have to see if we can run that one back for you. Next dead ball. Gabrasis. Gabrasis. Threw it out of bounds. That was not deflected, or was it deflected? Oh, they called a blocking foul. Foul on Laurent. Boy, that's tough. 
So free throws for Gabrasis. Marin, 29 points in the opener. Swishes in the first one. He went 9 of 11 from the free throw line. Look at that pass. That's beautiful. Beautiful offense. Glad we could take another look at that one real quick between these free throws by Gabrasis as he gets the second. So he's uh, 11 of 13 from the charity stripe in the early going of this season. Ecclesia by nine with 10 minutes to go here in this opening half. Jenkins top of the key. A.J. Jenkins to Hawkins. Or correction, that was Williams long on that three. So a heat check for him. Open look, go bear, but he was out of bounds, I guess. So turnover gives the ball back to Champion. 9.57 left to go here in the opening half. Chris Sheeman here with you. The Champion Classic from a remote studio in Greenville, South Carolina. It's soup weather here. Take a trip to Dominica. Get me some beach time before winter kicks in. Hawkins was stripped. And we're going to get a traveling violation called, I believe that's Gabrasis, the guilty party. So Ecclesia turns it over. I actually love this time of the year. I lived in, you guys who were around last year know this already. We were calling the games from Pensacola, Florida. And it's nice to be back. Uh, Greenville is not necessarily in the mountains, but it's on the foothills. And it's just nice to get some fall, some, some seasons. Pensacola, it was 90 degrees until it was like 41 degrees for a month. And then uh, usually February and March were nice, and then it was 95 degrees and 100 degrees. A.J. Jenkins can't come up with it. Put back by Scott. No tip for the rebound, and it comes to Ecclesia. That was Dotson. Dotson's a big guy. Stepping left, Gabrasis for three, too strong. 9.15 left to go here in this opening half. Champion just 13 on the board. They started slow, starting to play better as Hawkins buries the triple. Ecclesia calls for time. Past the midway point of the opening half, Champion working themselves back in it. We'll be back after this timeout. It'll be Royals basketball. Good fight by Champion. Trying to whittle the lead down. Gobert McGee are back in the backcourt for the Royals. And the timeout set the 5-4 Champion here momentarily. Gabrasis, now it's swung over to Spencer, who's into the game. Terrence Spencer. Couple of fakes, bucket in the f nope. They say no bucket. Is that Spencer or Dotson? I forgot. I've been watching a lot of NBA basketball. There's no chance for continuation in college, almost. And yeah, it is Dotson. Dotson swings it up top. McGee, Gabrasis back to him. McGee on the wing now. Oh, beautiful ball movement. This is a team in sync. Bucket's no good, but you like the idea if you're a Royals fan as Hawkins gets the rebound. Now Williams 
Blakely, Jenkins, and uh, Scott. That's the five on the floor for Mocha Pacey. Shot clock is down to 10 now. Falling down was Blakely, but got a one-handed pass to Williams. Shot clock at three. AJ from the elbow. And do we have a late whistle? I believe so. It's the right call. It came late, but it's going to send AJ to the free throw line. 87% free throw shooter last season. So a chance after Champion went down 15-5 to five early. A.J. pretty automatic at the free throw line. Chance to make it a four-point game. Money on the first. David Lynch, who took a big charge off the bench for Jones. Looks like Gonzalez is back in as well for the Royals. So, champion, it's a four-point game now. Ecclesia has led wire to wire so far as we go inside eight minutes to go here in this opening half. Chris Shima, glad to be with you. Gabrasis, extra pass. Three ball is an air ball on that far side, though, by Lynch. Hawkins spins. Extra pass. The reverse. Nicely done by Scott. Two-point game. Gobert into the four court. And they like to push the tempo off a, off a make, but the layup's no good. Now here's Williams. Williams dared to shoot it. You don't want to do that. They don't. They get away with it that time, but trust me, folks, more times than not, you're going to want to close out. 7.20 left to go. Still a two-point lead, Ecclesia. Sloppy play there as they come out with it on the turnover and then throw it away. That was Williams looking for Jenkins. And the pass off the mark at the 7-12 mark. Number 23 is Terrell Green, who had five points on Tuesday in the season opener for Ecclesia. They played at Central Christian, lost 75-73 against a decent NAIA program. That ball deflected, and it'll go into the backcourt off champion. Here's Cabrasis hanging, coming up short. Capace with the rebound. Champion trying to push it, but wisely collect themselves. Now Williams turns on the Jets, and we got a tie ball game. 22 all. Here comes Ecclesia going quickly. Rejected. That was Cabrasis getting his stuff stuffed back. Capace for three off the back rim. Rebound controlled by Gabrasis. Throws it ahead to Dotson, I believe. Pull up off the back iron. Rebound by Hawkins. So we're going up and down. Not a whole lot of scoring, but they, both teams are pushing it fairly quickly here tonight. Hawkins from downtown. Hit one moments ago. Not that time. Lynch the board. Green hands it off. Gabrasis, Dotson up top. Dotson steps left for three. Yes! And just like that, Ecclesia retakes the lead as Dotson, who went two for nine from behind the arc on Tuesday. Looking good on that shot. Williams surveys against the zone. Here's Blakely, 4-3. Off the rim, put back, tipped no good by Scott, but he was fouled. Keyshawn Scott going to the line where he was a 63% free throw shooter last season. Krishima, glad to be with you, with you all season long. I believe we have every home game covered for champion here in 2021-22. Wisdom Kowotu coming in, number five for Ecclesia, as well as McGee, who returns. Second free throw rims in, one-point ball game. Champion has not led. Ecclesia led by as many as 10 at 15-5. to five. 
Since then, it's been plus nine to champion. With 5.30 left to go here in this half. Cabrasis steps left, shoots the three off the back rim. It's chased down by Dotson, I believe. His step back, no. Cabrasis, another offensive rebound. Pass deflected. Laurent, who's back into the game, deflected that one. Williams hangs the runner. No good. Tip for the rebound. It comes to McGee. Throw ahead full court. Out on the run is Lint, uh, Dotson, but champion back on defense. So they will set up the offense now. Jones sets a screen. Gabrasis, top of the key, goes out of bounds. Ball was saved, but it comes to A.J. Williams. Champion got lucky there. They were standing around. Here's Capace for three. Yes! And the Tigers with their first lead of the night. 27-25. 4.30 left to go here until halftime. Dotson. Being hounded by Blakely. Man defense. Open look now for McGee. Long on the three. Offensive rebound. McGee the reverse. Beautiful. Champion. Got caught napping a bit after playing good defense on the first half of that two-shot possession. Blakely. Capace, same spot. Laurent underneath, back out to Zoe. Four, three again. Back-to-back -back triples by Zoe Capace, who shot 37% from downtown. Champion leads by three. Timeout on the court. We'll step aside late in the first half. Tigers have taken control. We'll be back. Welcome back to uh, Champion. There's the uh, schedule. Again, we'll be with you tomorrow, 5 and 7, all time central. Here's Dotson. Gabrasis. McGee. Plenty of time on the shot clock here for the Royals, who find themselves trailing after leading by 10 earlier. Gobert for three, and that's going to go out of bounds. So Joey Gobert inserted back into the lineup. Can't get it to go, and Champion gets it back. A.J. Williams into the forecourt. It's been zoned most of the night. K.J. Harris is into the game, passes back to Williams, can't get the three. Rebound controlled by Ecclesia. This is Gabrasis attacking, hanging, and scoring. Blakely. Cutter was Scott. Ball deflected. It's gotten sloppy on the last couple of possessions. But how about that block by Williams? Wow. What a defensive play. Got to give the man the ball. Take that shot, AJ. Couldn't get it to go, though. Here's Gobert flying into the forecourt. Extra pass underneath. Gonzalez, the reverse, couldn't get it to go. Laurent, the rebound. Into the forecourt, it's Williams. Williams, step back three, hangs. Too short. And it'll go out of bounds. But let's take a look at that block again real quick here. A wild defensive play. You got to get back on Ecclesia. And AJ says, uh-uh, not in my home. Royals can get the lead back here with a bucket. Gobert into the four court. Catch and shoot three on the 
Right wing is off. Scott the rebound for the Tigers. A.J. Williams directing traffic late in this first half. Coming up at halftime, we'll take our usual break. It's hard to see the scoreboard the way they have the camera. Zoka Pacey has been red hot. That's his third three-pointer. There's the clock, 144 to go in the half. So Capace has nine, averaged six a game last year. Fake by Gabrasis. Now open look by McGee, and he buries it. Big bucket by Ecclesia. That's how it goes against the zone sometimes. If you're hitting those shots, you're going to be in the ball game. That's the way it's been for champion here tonight. They started cold, but they are red hot right now. Capace, heat check time. Not that time. A little bit too far. Attacking Dotson. And before that shot, we have a foul called with 107 left to go. Free throws to come here for Jaquan Dodson. Hit three out of four. There's the fan if you wanted to take a look at That's the second. I'm good. I was hoping we'd see the fan here in the men's game. We saw it in the women's. I know you all want to see that. <laughs> Camber work is a work in progress, folks. I'll send my notes later on. Ecclesia retakes the lead, meanwhile, with 107 left to go in the half. 34-33. A.J. Williams into the forecourt. Near side, it's Glover back in. Hawkins. Capace extra pass to Scott, who hangs, couldn't get the bucket. Nice defense by the undersized Gabrasis against Scott there. 44 seconds left to go, and Ecclesia is going to call for time. We'll step aside as well. We'll be back here in just a moment. So just uh, four more games here for you in the uh, first semester. Tomorrow and then after Thanksgiving and then a couple more before the Christmas break. 43.8 left to go. Ecclesia back up by one. Champions led by as many as three. Ecclesia led by ten momentarily. McGee will inbound it. Here's Gobert on the far side. Are they going to go two for one here? Ball deflected. Great defense again by the Tigers. And Scott is going to go to the free throw line. But nice defense there by Keyshawn to come up with that steal. Let's take another look at the steal real quick before Keyshawn goes to the line and then a good foul there by Ecclesia. Keyshawn, pretty good free throw shooter at 63% though as he goes to the line here late in this first half. So now a chance to put Champion up. Gets one out of two, and look at Hawkins wrestle the rebound away. Got discombobulated, though. 
then got it back after it was taken away by Gobert. Here's Scott missing the dunk and a foul called. It's going to be on Gonzalez, it looks like. So Scott will go back to the line. One out of two seconds ago, Keyshawn. Missed the first. So some guys called into action because of uh, some injuries and other inactive players here in the early part of this 2021-22 season for champion. And you've got guys like Scott and Capace making the most of those minutes. Capace, nine points from that left corner three. And Scott now two out of four from the charity stripe, playing good defense as well. And helping Champion retake the lead. That score is wrong. A few seconds left. Last shot time if you're Ecclesia. Here's Gabrasis. Swinging it into the corner. McGee can't get the three to go. And underneath, we have a foul called. So with two seconds left here in the half, Ecclesia will inbound. It'll be Gobert who will inbound. Gonzalez is in that left corner. Now he comes to the key. It swung to Dotson. Dotson for three at the buzzer. No. And we got a good one. 20 minutes in the books. Champion trailed by 10 at the outset, but Ecclesia finds themselves down by one. So Tigers have the lead, 35-34, a barn burner here in Hot Springs. We'll take a timeout for the half. It'll be uh, about 10 minutes, I believe, and then we'll come back and bring you the second half. You're watching Tigers basketball here on YouTube. It's champion by one at the half. We'll be back.
Chris Sheeman back here with you. It's the Champion Classic. First day, pretty good crowd on hand. And we got a good one as we go to the second half of our nightcap. It's Champion 35, Ecclesia 34. It'll be Royals with the basketball to start this final period. Settle in. It should be an exciting one. Gobert gets it over to Dotson. Up top, that's Gonzalez. Looks like the same starters for... Joseph Flegler's team. Gabrasis backing everybody out of his way. Wants to go one-on-one -on -one with Blakely and had it stripped, but a late whistle and foul is called. So first foul starts in the opening seconds. Pretty clean game played so far. No changes in the starting lineup for Mo Capace, Marcus Blakely, Keyshawn Sc Scott, Zoe Capace, Capace, excuse me, A.J. Williams, Braylon Hawkins, all out there at the start of this one. If you're just joining us, Ecclesia led 15-5 to at one point. Champion led by as many as three at 30-27. to And it's tightened up since that time as we're tied again. Gabrasis gets one out of two. Gabrasis had 29 points. On Tuesday, when Ecclesia lost a heartbreaker at Central Christian, 75-73. A.J. Williams tosses it underneath, and Keyshawn Scott had it ripped away. Good defense there. I believe Gobert came up with the steal. Bounce passes it. Gerbraces. Top of the key. McGee for three. No. Ball batted, but deflected to Williams. A.J. into the forecourt. Zoka pacey has been hot. Missed that one. Gabrasis out on the run. Pull up three. Yes. Ecclesia starting the half with the first four points to go back up by three. Maron Gabrasis is a pure scorer, folks. A.J. Williams is as well. He's got the basketball. Surveys against the 1-3-1 zone. Attacking was Hawkins. Here's a three. Missed it long. That time by Williams. Numbers now for Ecclesia. Gabrasis hesitated. He was open. Good defense there by Scott to deflect the pass. Now a jump ball called as Gobert had to dive for it. And we're going the other way. So Scott's had a couple deflections. Nice defensive game for Keyshawn who gets the start here today. As I mentioned in the first half, if you're just joining us, some transfers, Trey Mallard from Arlington, Kyle Malone from Randall, both inactive. Tyler Beam is inactive, a freshman, and Brian Sluga inactive with an injury. So champion a bit shorthanded in the first half of this season. We'll see when some of those guys can get back. Blakely. Here's Williams. Shot clock is at 9. Thrown it underneath Hawkins. Hawkins hesitated and waited at the right moment. Got the bucket. Beautiful play by Braylon Hawkins. He was fouled too, so he's going to go to the line. Let's see if we can run that one back real quick while Braylon sets his feet at the charity stripe. See that hesitation? Good footwork. Braylon Hawkins averaged 17 and 9 last season. 70% free throw shooter a season ago. Missed it. Zoe Capace's got the rebound. Back out Hawkins for three off the back iron. And this time Jones collect, or excuse me, McGee collects. Flying is Gobert. Here's Gabrasis. Tried for his second straight three-pointer. And Dotson had the offensive rebound. Then it's volleyballed back to Gobert, who lays it up and in. So Ecclesia back up by 3, 40-37, just underway here in the second half. Champion Classic. See, we're about uh, two and a half minutes in. A.J. Williams between the circles directs traffic. Hawkins on the wing. Back to A.J. Hawkins and A.J. playing hot potato with it. Shot clock's at six, so Hawkins has to hoist and hits. Braylon Hawkins having a nice start to this second half. That goes through the fingertips of Gabrasis, but luckily Gobert was there. 
McGee swings it over. Corner three by Dotson off the back iron. Rebound by Hawkins. By the way, wanted to uh, shout out, I did it during the women's game, uh, DeAnthony and and Mo and new assistant head coach uh, Brandon Hatfield, who has taken over Jesse's responsibilities of putting up with me. Hawkins stays hot here in the half. Champion back up by two. Those of you who were with us last year know that uh, sometimes the internet did not cooperate. In fact, most of the time the internet didn't cooperate when we started. And uh, we spent the bulk of last week kind of ironing out those issues so that we can bring you a nice clear stream and knock on wood. It's, it's working so far. We've had a nice uh, easy broadcast here tonight, both of these games. That was beautiful offense there by Dotson to tie us up at 42. 15.45 to go in the ball game. So Capace calls for it, falling to his left. Fires a three, and Gonzalez with the rebound. Cabrasis on the wing. Driving on Capace, hangs an air ball. Put back by Gonzalez. No, Hawkins wrestles it away. Gonzalez is still scoreless on the season so far in a game and a half. A.J. Williams between the circles over to Blakely on the right side. Back to A.J. A.J. zone left him open. Shoots it from deep. McGee the rebound. Gabrasis with the fake. Steps left. Finding, trying to find somebody. Blakely hounding him. Now Dotson. Dotson turns on the Jets. Yes! Ecclesia back up by two. Now almost a steal. It will be a steal. So Gobert takes it away after it was deflected and a missed dunk. But Gonzalez there. Gabrasis open look at a three. He can't score. Why are there there's only four players for champion playing defense? A lot of guys standing around. And I think Capace might be hurt. Eventually, Ecclesia scores. And we have an injury timeout. Capace's up, but he's hobbled. We'll step aside here for just a moment. Pacey looks like he's okay. That's a good sign. Malik Laurent in for Braylon Hawkins. There's a look at the upcoming schedule. Mo Capace talking to him before the season started. Said uh, chemistry is really cool with his guys. Every returner has stepped up their game in the offseason. One of those returners. KJ Harris into the game. Blakely for three. Grazes the rim. That's all. On the run out, Ecclesia is starting to put some distance. Again, it's a six-point game now. Harris also out there. Harris swings it to Williams on the wing. High pass to Blakely. Blakely had it stripped. The offense and champion just kind of in a funk right now. Here's Dotson, the rainbow. No, tip for the rebound. The big guy's got it. That's uh, Kowotu. And he's fouled on the putback attempt. So Wisdom Kuwotu, who had 10 and 5, comes into the game. As you see, 13 and a half remaining in the ball game. Champions won at least the last three meetings against the Royals since 2018-2019 season. Last year, champion won 67-65. In 2020, the Tigers won 94-79, a 15-point advantage. So Kowotu off the bench, nails the first free throw, and it's one out of two, but do we have a lane violation? We do. So that's going to give Kowotu another opportunity at it. 
Champion tomorrow will take on Campbellsville Harrodsburg. Another good program. Boy, Malik had it just taken away by Dotson. He puts it up and in. So Ecclesia now up by nine. 13.22 left to go. Champion needs a bucket. Blakely attacks. Swings it out. Hesitation by AJ. And AJ got caught in the air. Jones back out there, turns it over, and then we have a reach. So Jones was a little out of control. Turnover that champion desperately needed, and a foul on Ecclesia to boot. So champion Laurent will inbound it. Harrison to the forecourt. Williams on the left wing. 13 minutes left to go in the game. Cross court to Harris. Harris left alone. Shot in and out from three. Laurent the offensive rebound. Here's A.J. from downtown. Off the mark. Harris the offensive rebound. Third opportunity here on this sequence. And it goes through the hands of Laurent. A rocket pass by Blakely. A.J. Jenkins checking into the game. Braylon Hawkins returns as well for champion. Blakely and Williams, I believe, going to get a breather at the 12.42 mark. Green's back into the game. Terrell Green into the forecourt for Ecclesia. Hand off to Jones. He's not shy. Buries the three. And Ecclesia has its biggest lead of the night. It's 12. Jones had seven. In the first game of the season back on Tuesday. Full timeout by Mo Capace. He's got to get his squad back together. They trail by a dozen. Chris Sheeman back here with you. Actually, not here. I'm here at my house, but close enough. We're broadcasting the Champion Classic here today from Hot Springs, Arkansas. A.J. Williams back in. Jenkins. Williams. Hawkins. Lorentz. Our, uh, Scott's also back out there. and Out of the timeout, Champion comes up empty. Ecclesia with their biggest lead, looking to put some more separation. Gabrasis rejected by Laurent, ball batted around, and it's going to be a reach on Ecclesia. Champion basketball, need to put a run together here to work themselves back in it. We ended the half, the first half, and started the second half by these two teams playing Pretty close basketball. Maclesia, this is their second double-digit lead of the game, though. They led by 10 in the early going. Good ball movement to Jenkins, who buries it. First bucket in a while for champion. 11.40 left to go. 10-point game. Maclesia pushing off a make. Offensive foul going to be called on the screen. That gave Jones a look. So champion's going to get it back. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Looks like Gonzalez will come back into the game for Ecclesia as Kowotu comes out. Williams into the forecourt. 
for champion. Jenkins, corner three by Hawkins. No. Scott there. Put back. Yes. And it's single digits again on back-to-back -back champion buckets. Into the forecourt. Go Bear. What a rocket. Rejected. Gonzalez had it sent back by Laurent. Williams. Toss underneath. Hawkins. The reverse. No. Laurent. Hawkins there. And there's going to be a foul on the floor. It looks like it's going to be called on the Royals. With 11.06 left to go. Free throws for Braylon Hawkins. Braylon, as I mentioned last year, 70% at the line. Averaged 17 points, 9 rebounds. He's a double-double threat kind of guy. A.J. Williams led the team in scoring at 20.3 points per ball game, but those two combined for uh, usually around 40 a night. You can rely on the, just two guys. It really takes the pressure off because defenses know to focus on those two guys, and then you have your role players who will get some open looks here and there and can have opportunities to step up. Gabrasis out near us. Dotson back in, driving. Had it stripped. Gonzalez is there. Swings it out to McGee for three. Yes! Big bucket. Ecclesia is champion. Was looking to put a run together. It's back out to nine. Nearing ten and a half to go. Hawkins trapped in the corner. And it's deflected out. Last touch by McGee. 10.26 to be exact. In Hot Springs. Ecclesia looking to avoid a 0-2 start. They'll play Randall tomorrow. Champion looking to get a victory in their season opener. Taking on Campbellsville Harrodsburg tomorrow. Same time, roughly. Hopefully, we've been relatively on schedule here tonight. The uh, Lady Tigers, who blew out Bacone, stepped back by Williams, can't get it to go. They got their ring ceremony, which was uh, cool to see and uh, broadcast. Stepping into a three is McGee after a couple of turnovers back-to-back. -back. Offensive rebound by Dotson, and he's fouled. Boy, second-chance opportunities in the second half for Ecclesia have really helped them push this lead back out. And two shots to come for Zachary McGee. No oh, correction, it's Dotson. Dotson was 3 of 4 from the charity stripe on Tuesday against Central. Makes it a double-digit lead again. Got them both. Lead is 11 for Ecclesias, 59-48. Uh, A.J. Williams into the forecourt. He's been out there for just about every minute. 9.39 left to go. Hawkins for three. Yes! Will that be a momentum swinger? Ecclesia trying to change that, and they do. That's a big man jam right there. Wow! Dotson. And he was fouled. Look, champion pays my bills, so I don't normally run it back for the opposing team, but we got we to gotta take a look at that. We got to take a look at that one. Now, they're giving Ecclesia the ball here. No, oh, so the dunk doesn't count. Well, Laurent with a big block that time, so the dunk doesn't count, so take those two points off. The foul occurred before the dunk. My bad. That was still a that was still a man's dunk. So off the Laurent block, Gobert to inbound it, and yeah, Dotson wants it again. Defense knew that, collapsed around him, deflected it, but it stays with the Royals. Now 
Gabrasis, did he get away with a push off there? It doesn't matter. Ecclesia gets the three pointer and it's back to 11, nearing nine minutes to go now. AJ trapped. Here's Hawkins, short on that one. Hit one a moment ago. Gabrasis running and gunning with Dotson and Dotson with another circus shot. He is so athletic. He's got a lot of tools in his offensive game. A.J. Williams trying to answer, can't do it. McGee with the board, and things are starting to look bleak here for Champion. The momentum with Ecclesia right now as Dotson hangs, and a late whistle coming from the far side official will send Dotson to the line for two. Dotson had a double-double against uh, Central Christian, 11 points, 13 rebounds, also had four steals. He didn't shoot particularly well in that game, 3 of 11 from the field and 2 from 9 from behind the arc, but uh, you can see his game is uh, something else. So Ecclesia by 13, make it 14 as Dotson buries the first one. Champion's gone a little cold on the offensive end, maybe trying to do a little too much. But really, it's it's been on the defensive end. They have not been rebounding the basketball well, and Ecclesia has capitalized on deflections, and really just those little things have made the difference. And you don't do those little things, and all of a sudden you look up, and it's a 15-point ball game. Blakely back in. He's got it, far side, tosses near side to A.J. Looking underneath for Hawkins, the reverse. Ooh, that was close to a goaltend. It doesn't matter because Laurent cleans it up. Off of uh, Make, here they are pushing again, and Jones buries a three. Boy, Ecclesia, you've got to get back on defense. Run, sprint back. Blakely for three, no. Laurent's going to be called for over the back. So right at the eight-minute mark, Ecclesia up by 16. Zoe Capace coming back into the game. Keyshawn Scott's played a good defensive game. He'll come in. A.J. Williams goes to the bench, as does Laurent. Joey Gobert. Across midcourt with it for the Royals. Here's Jones off the bench. Cut off. Back out to Gobert on the wing. Swings it to McGee for three. Yes! Not bad defense there for Keyshawn Scott, but Ecclesia pulling away by 19. Kind of thought this one might be a little difficult for Champion. They were in it, though. Braylon Hawkins... 7.26 left to go. It's a turnover. Here's McGee, same spot. Not that time, though. Offensive rebound by Kowotu, who's back in. Kowotu taking it himself. The fadeaway no good. And the rebound comes to Champion and Jenkins. Jenkins splits the defense. Yes, and the foul. So Jenkins sprinting. We said that Champion was going to look to play faster this season when they could. And in transition off of a missed shot. There you see the result of that. Bucking in the foul with 7-10 remaining. David Lynch back in for Ecclesia, as is Gabrasis. McGee out. And it looks like uh, Dotson will leave as well. A.J. Jenkins, one of the freshmen for... Mo Capace trying to complete the three-point play. Can't do it. Rebound Kowotu. Here comes Gobert. It's not over yet. It's not looking great for the Tigers, but it's not over yet. If they can string some stops together. We want to get it to single digits at about the uh, five or four-minute mark. Jones steps left, and he makes sure that's not going to happen as he pushes the lead out to 20. Boy, how about this kid off the bench, Shamar Jones? What a... Weapon for Joseph Flagler to have off his bench. Blakely. Now it's swung to Hawkins. Turnaround shot by Jenkins in the lane. 
75-57, six and a half left to go. Champion calls for time, trying to make one last push. Ecclesia, though, in control. We'll be back. So 6.30 left to go, and Ecclesia in control, 75-57. Champion calls for time. They're trying to make one last push. It'll, it'll take some work. Like I said, it's, it's not over yet. We've seen crazy things in this game of basketball. By the way, happy Halloween to the kids and kids at heart. And for Champion, if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start on the defensive end, and you see Jenkins trying to do his part as he batted that pass away but couldn't keep it in bounds. McGee's back out there. Gobert brings it into the front court. Gabrasis double teamed in the corner, and a timeout called by Ecclesia. I know most of the kiddos are probably doing trick or treating either today or tomorrow. Halloween's on a Sunday this year, so. I know some places by me here in South Carolina actually did it last week. Time out on the court. We'll step aside. Ecclesia will have the ball when we come back. Chris Sheeman back with you at the uh, Champion Classic. Gabrasis attacks, hangs, banks it, and scores. Ecclesia back up by 20. A.J. Williams into the forecourt. Hawkins back in. Prince Sadler's come on for the first time. Shaquem, the senior, last year played at Bacone. Catch and shoots by Glover. So Taz Glover, the Chi Town product. Oh, correction, that was that was Hawkins. My my bad. Dotson, more athleticism for him, and this one's just about in the books, folks. Jenkins for three, missed it short. Champion just ran out of gas here in the second half, and credit Ecclesia taking advantage of some defensive collapses like this one. Gobert couldn't get the three. Kowotu with the rebound, then it's deflected off Gobert and out of bounds. So tomorrow, champion plays Campbellsville University Harrodsburg at 7 p.m. approximately. Next nine on the road. They won't be at home again until the 30th of November which we'll have that game for you. Williams Baptist will be in town. Then region play starts early in December on the 3rd. Champion will take on Dallas Christian. Champion will play a few D1 opponents this year. Not quite as many, I don't think, as last year. They do have nine games on the road. Most of those will be considered exhibition games as Green and Gonzalez come back in for Ecclesia. So Braylon Hawkins with 5.08 left to go. Second free throw upcoming. 
Missed it. And McGee's got the board. So Braylon Hawkins is in. Keyshawn Scott, Zoe Capace. <laughs> and man, Jones off the bench is feeling it. That's the kind of shot when you know it's going right for you. A.J. Williams also on the court. Shaquem Prince Sadler. Here's A.J. Can't get the three. Capace. Offensive rebound. Shaquem will attack and he's fouled. So Prince Sadler goes to the line. Didn't play a whole heck of a lot at Bacone last year. Just under two points per ball game. Shaquem, who is a senior from Oklahoma City. But an opportunity, especially with some injuries and ineligible players who transferred over for champion to get some run here in the early part of the season. I wanted to bring up the schedule as Prince Sadler gets the front end of a 1-1 one one with 442 remaining. And just count out the Division I schools that champion will play this year. It's nice, and hopefully these uh, classics and uh, little mini tournaments at the beginning of the year work out for these schools. It helps them get games in in the early part of the year. That is David Lynch who comes in and keeps the heat going for Ecclesia. 85-60 to 60 now. So they will be at Arkansas Little Rock on the 12th. That's a D1. McNeese is a D1 on the 15th of November. And I think there might be one or two more. Some of these directional schools, I'm not sure if they're D1s or not. But at least two D1s on the schedule after this weekend for champion. A.J. Williams to Scott. It's been zoned for all of tonight. Ecclesia, nice cut by Hawkins and nice find by Prince Sadler. Braylon's going to the line with under four, just a little under four to go in the ballgame. So for champion in their next game tomorrow night, it's going to take the full 40 against Harrodsburg too. That's a good team. I believe they're an NAIA program. Those are always tough opponents for uh, non-scholarship schools, athletic scholarship schools like Champion, and they're going to empty the bench, it looks like. So we're going to see some new guys coming in for Coach Capace. It'll be number five. That's Corey Irving, the junior from Avondale, Arizona. Malik Laurent returns to the ball game, as does Taz Glover. So 3.57 left to go. It's bench time for the Tigers. A.J. Williams, Braylon Hawkins, both will sit down. That was a bit of an out-of-control play there by Green. He knew it. Good ball movement here. Scott for three, no good. Tip for the rebound. Capace hits the deck hard. A for effort, but comes up short. Jones. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't go as he hung in the air. That's one of his rare misses here in the second half. Taz Glover into the four court. Shout out to Chi-Town. Send me some hot dogs with the pickles. No relish on my hot dog in Capace was hot. He had uh, three three-pointers in the first half. Scoreless here in the second. Now Jones. Same spot, same result. Shamar Jones had seven on Tuesday. He is tearing it up here late. 2.56 left to go. Malik Laurent with the two-hand jam. Nicely done by Malik. He was fouled too. Let's take a look at that again. K.J. Harris checking in as we take a look at the Malik Laurent dunk. K.J. is a redshirt junior from Greensboro, Georgia. Averaged a point a game last year. 
That's uh, Matthew Hammer pulling down the rebound for the Royals, who have also gone a little deeper into their bench. I think they're a little short-handed. There's uh, three or four guys on their roster who didn't play in the first game. David Lynch was one of them. So maybe just a couple guys out right now for Joseph Flegler's team. He's going to get the victory. I believe, and, and I don't have a lot of information on Ecclesia, but I believe this is Coach Flegler's first year with the program as they get a bucket to Hammer. Hammer was scoreless in limited minutes on Tuesday, so that's his first points of the year. 2.17 left to go, 90-64. It's all Ecclesia down the stretch here. Champion just kind of fell apart. He was player was out of bounds over on the far side. So Tigers will get the basketball back. Champion will start the year 0 and 1. Meanwhile, Ecclesia will get the bad taste out of their mouth after they lost a heartbreaker of uh, free throws down the stretch. On Tuesday, Taz Glover buries the three. I'm telling you, that's them hot dogs. Catch and shoot three by uh, Claudio, Matthew Claudio, into the game for the first time this season. Irving for three, no, 140 left to go. Claudio attacks. It swung over to Lynch. He swishes in a three. I mean, David Lynch is, is a not an end-of-the-bench guy, but a close to an end-of-the-bench guy, and he's he's got game. This Ecclesia team's going to be tough this year. Glover can't get the three this time. They've got 93 on the board. It'll be the first win against champion for Ecclesia since at least 2018. Number 12 is in. That's Ty Sean Scales for Ecclesia. 115 left to go. Glover for three. He got hit. They're swallowing their whistles. <laughs> so here comes Ecclesia. That bucket was no good by Claudio looking to scratch in his first game. Here's Glover, and Glover is fouled with a minute one. How about a running clock in basketball? Under three to go when it's 25 or more. See, basketball is such a game of stats. I don't think you'd ever see it like you do in college football, you know, in 70 to 7, and the teams agree to it. I don't think you'll see that in basketball just because everybody's got stats. Plus, you want to see your guys at the end of the bench get in, get some run. But for those of us who are not Hourly employees. I'm all for it. <laughs> Glover. Got them both. 93-69. Go inside a minute here. Claudio had it stripped, but it's last touched by Prince Sadler out of bounds. Good defense by Shaquem. Turn around, shot by Terrence Spencer, no good. It's saved to Lynch. Lynch attacks, Lynch rejected by Laurent. Boy, Laurent's going to be a good defensive presence for Mo Capace's team, champion Christian. We've seen uh, two blocks at least already for him tonight. Scales with one shoe can't get it to go. That would have been something. And then another foul is called. So Prince Sadler going back to the line. Tyshawn Scales shot it with a sock and a foot and a shoe on. 36.8 left. Prince Sadler looking good on that free throw. So tomorrow, Champion will stream. By the way, Ecclesia fans, if you're still with us, uh, 
Champion will stream the earlier games without commentary. 93-72, the correct score on your screen, by the way. It was off by one here at the home studio. So you can watch your game without having to deal with my nonsense if you're an Ecclesia fan. Champion fans, you're not going to get so lucky. I'll be back with you tomorrow around 7 p.m. Central Time. Tigers will take on Harrodsburg in the nightcap and final game of this short two-day classic. That free throw is good. Is that uh, Claudio, I believe, scratching for the first time this year? Matthew Claudio at the line for another one. Came up short. Laurent the rebound. Here comes Harris, four-second difference game and shot clock. Harris can't get it to go. Please swallow the whistles. Oh, they're going to force him to make a call. It's going to be a reach or a jump ball, now a technical foul. Oh, this is not what you want. Now the bureaucrats are going to get involved, and we're going to be here for a little while longer. 23 seconds remaining. So... The fans are restless. So who was the technical on? That's what we'll have to decide here. I'll recap the game for you here briefly. Ecclesia got out to a good start. 15-5 to advantage in the early going. Champion closed the gap at the half. It was a champion lead. They led by as many as three in the first half at 30-27, to 27, but took a 35-34 halftime lead. Then it started well in the second half for champion, and the wheels came off. Lynch missed the rebound, so I thought there was a technical foul called. No dice. Glover throws it up, put back by Lorentz. That should just about do it. Well, Spencer's trying to get his. He blows 2-1. Claudio. And now they'll just run the clock. That's the correct play to make as Joseph Flegler <laughs> has a little something for Terrence Spencer about trying to get his. That's sportsmanship, Coach Flegler. Congratulations on the victory. So, champion will try it again tomorrow. It's a tough one tonight. Ecclesia 94 and champion 72. Again, tomorrow we'll have both the uh, women's and men's games for champion on Tiger TV, 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Meanwhile, champion will uh, stream the earlier games as well for you guys. So come on back tomorrow night, starting at 5 p.m., the ladies and men both taking on Campbellsville Harris, Harrodsburg, if I can get it out right. Once again, your final score, it's Ecclesia 94 and Champion 72. My name's Chris Sheeman. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night.